This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical Channel. I'm out here with my friend, Mike Fisher, Mag Tech. Got an AK on board and some brass case S&B 762 by 39. Mike, what do we got here, brother? Uh, this represents our U.S. offerings on the SMB brass case 762-39 ammunition, full metal jacket round, which is a high volume variety, of course. And then we also offer a real nice uh, soft point round, real popular with the guys running CZ bolt guns, various hunting rifles, non-AK type stuff. Now, understand something. Vast majority of the ammo you're seeing in this caliber on the U.S. market is inexpensive stuff out of the former Warsaw Pact countries Correct. in steel case. Yeah, yeah, that's that's by far the dominant variety or style. And what we try to do is offer people a little bit higher grade option. This will allow people to reload the cases. It's very much range friendly. You'll also find that projectiles are lead core copper jacket. So many people get concerned about having a well steel core or maybe some iron or steel content in the jacket that will attract a magnet, which would be a no-no on the range. We don't do any of that. Again, lead core, copper jacket, good in any standard range operation. The other thing is, you know, steel case by and large in a gun like an SKS or an AK, no problem because stuff functions. One of the issues you may be looking at, steel case does not release from the chamber walls when the pressure is released like brass does. That's the beauty of brass. So if you're running 762 by 39 in other guns than an AK or an SKS or whatnot, you might run into issues with that. Correct, yeah. Typically you've got to have some type of uh, lacquer coating on those steel cases, which can cause trouble in non-AK, non-SKS type, type platforms. And a lot of guys are running AR platform 76239 or various bolt guns, something like that. And those really do function better with the brass case stuff. Now, all your stuff, like you said, is brass. It is. All reloadable yeah. as well and non-corrosive. Correct, yeah, everything's non-corrosive. We seal the primers, case mouths. Uh, it's made to a very high military standard in general. I bring up the corrosive piece to this because if you're in the U.S., you're used to using your Glock in nine millimeter or your M4 or whatnot. You're used to non-corrosive ammunition, brass Correct. case, non-corrosive ammunition. Now I get a gun in this caliber and an AK and I start using inexpensive ammo, it may or may not be corrosive. corrosive Primer and or powder or both was essentially integrated for shelf life. It can be corrosive to the internals of the gun, especially the bore. So you need to be aware of that depending on the gun you're shooting it through. Great thing about this stuff, non-corrosive. Non-corrosive and, and there are some more modern platforms that may not play well with steel case when it comes to wear on your extractor, that type of thing. Yep. Um, no issues with the brass case. It'll, it'll work in any of the 76239 platforms. Now you said, I guess SMB loads a variety of this stuff, but in the States, these are the two flavors you bring in. Yeah, this is the standard stuff we uh, we sell here. Internationally, of course, it's a huge uh, military product for us. Uh, law enforcement in some areas will use the soft point round, uh, but we do everything from blanks to link varieties, uh, AP, all that uh, for international military sales. But in the U.S., it's a standard full metal jacket and a soft point. And as far as availability and sourcing this stuff, it's through the normal channels? Yeah, all of our people. standard distributors and dealers will stock this, so available widely through the U.S. Hey, Mike, thanks for coming out. Yes, thank you for having us. I appreciate us. you running us through your 762 by 39 offerings in the S&B line here in the U.S. You guys have a good one. LAV out. Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.